thought. Move from thinking in a rigid way to thinking and being flexible, soft, and allowing. From rigidity to softness. What a wonderful transformation that is. I was standing looking at, with my son Sands, and we were on Maui, and we were looking at water as water was going against some rocks and some cliffs and so on. And in these pictures, in this, in this moment, I said to my son, I said, uh, which do you think is stronger, the water or the cliff, the water or the rocks? Which one do you think is more powerful and stronger? And he said, well, <laughs> he said, the rocks, obviously, they're stronger and they're bigger and all. I said, but I said, water is very, very patient, isn't it? How much chance do those rocks have <laughs> if, they, if, they, if they want to survive? I mean, what chance do they have? That would, and, and Lao Tzu is speaking to us about understanding our nature by examining how nature works and then making it apply to our thoughts so that a soft thought, a thought that isn't a rigid thought, a thought that doesn't say you have to be this way or you have to be that way, a thought that is not stiff, a thought that water, he, there are so many references to water and what we can learn from water. You're 75% water. The planet is 75% water. We are water. The rest of us is just muscled water. It's just, it's all water. And water is soft. Water can enter anywhere. You get into a conflict with somebody else and you picture yourself as water. You can enter with water in any place that there's an opening. If you can visualize yourself as a being who moves into the space of water, if you can see yourself that way, you can just enter into those places in the people that you love, in your children, in your spouse, in anyone at all, and, and enter there softly. Here's verse 8. The supreme good is water, which nourishes all things without trying to. And verse 78, right smack out of the Tao, nothing in the world is softer and weaker than water. But for attacking the hard, the unyielding, nothing can surpass it. There is nothing like it. The way to experience water is to just get soft, just get un unbending. And there it is. That's what water is. The minute I grasp it, the minute I try, and Lao Tzu is saying, the same thing is true in everything in your life. The more you grasp, the more you try to hold on to it, the more you try to be rigid with it, the less control you have of it. The softer you are, the less rigid you are, the more flexible you are as a person, the more you can accomplish. And this is a great way to practice in parenting as well. And this idea that a rigid thought, how many times have you heard this idea that if I tell you something, I'm going to stay consistent with it. We have a set of rules, these are the rules, and we'll do it this way. In the Tao it says the more rules you make, the more rule breakers you create. <laughs> you know, I spent 20 years running, and I ran every day for 20 years, for 22 years, without missing a day, eight miles. Never missed a day. That's rigid, all right? Some call that obsessive. <laughs> but you brush your teeth every day, I used to say, and you don't call that obsessive. And uh, you go to the bathroom every day, and you don't say, well, he's obsessively doing that again today. You don't do that. You just... But anyway, what I learned is that in, even in the world of exercise, there are certain things that are built in to make us rigid, to make us stiff, to make us hard and we lift, and we run, and we kick, and uh, we, this is what we call working out. There's another kind of working out that is ancient. It goes back to the time of Lao Tzu and before, which is called yoga. And yoga means union. It means union with your source. And when you do yoga, you can stay in the same place. You can do the equivalent of eight miles. When I used to run eight miles, I had to run four miles that way, turn around, four miles back. <laughs> and I'd be sweating. Now I can do yoga, and I can just stand in one place, and in 90 minutes, by being supple, by making myself stretch, by not being hard and rigid, I can, you know, I can get that out there, I can get that leg up, I can do these kinds of things, and 90, and 90 minutes later, 
you know, it's like I'm totally sweating and so and I feel so different. I used to, when I would go out at night to eat or something, after running so many miles, running marathons and doing those things, I'd go to get up and it would be, okay, it's going to take a little while, because <laughs> everything was so, that doesn't happen anymore because I've given up hard. I've given up being rigid and substituted it for being supple, for being flexible, for living a life in which I don't have to always be so fierce. Listen to this verse of the Tao Te Ching. It's one of my all-time favorites, verse number 76. A man is born gentle and weak. At his death, he becomes hard and stiff. All things, including the grass and the trees, are soft and pliable in life, dry and brittle in death. Stiffness is thus a companion in death. Flexibility is a companion in life. And it's not just for how you exercise. It's how you think, how you think. In front of my place on Maui, there is a beautiful set of 11 or 12 palm trees. And these are like 30, 40, 50 feet tall. They've been there for I don't know how long, decades. And when the winds come and when the storms come, the storms will blow them over. There they are, watch. And they're just these amazing elastic things. I learned so much from these things. I go out there, when I, would, when I did these, when I wrote the uh, essay in the book on the verse 73, I just went out there with the palm trees and I would just commune with these palm trees. And they go all the way up and then they come all the way back. That's a symbol for how we need to think in our own lives. In verse 73 it says, it is heaven's way to conquer without striving. It does not ask, yet it is supplied with all that it needs. It does not hurry, yet it completes everything on time. One of my favorite lines from the Tao, one of my favorite beliefs from the Tao is this, that you're doing nothing. All of you, you're doing nothing. You're just being done. Just like you were the first nine months of your life, you think you're out there and you're making this happen and you're making that happen and you've got all these rigid things and, and you have